kept eating and eating. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... Yeah, I had to go I was a cat. over again. I don't like bugs in games. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. A speed run of Eden Finch, if you will. It's kinda cool to play as a cat, though. I jumped and I almost got her. She was getting really tired. Yeah. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. to the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Mm, if I uh, upload this to YouTube, I'll try to remember to edit this out. If I can get it to work with the editor. The problem is, like, for whatever reason, this reports in a format that Windows might be for some rock. Oh, come on. I don't have to go through this shit again. Why do you have to have bugs video games? When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. and I smelled people everywhere. I 
I was big, but I moved real quiet. Alright, let's see what happens. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Thing is a kid's dream, I guess. Oh boy. I know what this is. This I got is a little closer girl's and closer. My stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Okay, that is pretty disturbing. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. They didn't change nothing. She seems to have a um, interest in. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. I'm not gonna eat any more birds. Although it's interesting that uh, Edie first... knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. 
She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Your mirror does not function. I have no reflection. I must be dead. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Almost like a museum. Naturally. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. He carried the house with him? But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Interesting. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Hmm. Eighteen eighty and eighteen thirty seven. That's not the way to go. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book.
Very surrealist. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Who was the one that died in like one year? It wasn't Milton. So Edith is really the only one who's still alive. Not being up to code was kind of the most, uh... So actually... The brother who died, the one who was... Let's see... The one who only lived for one year, Gregory, had to share a room with... Gus, who... Had to share it with him for seven years. So, up until he died in 82, looks like. Yeah, that's. That is very freaky because they didn't change anything, anything at all about the room. Or Calvin. Sam. So, Calvin, it's. Actually, no, wait. So, Calvin died. See, he was 11 when he died. Sam was 33. Poor Sam, poor Calvin. I bet Edith is dead. Sam died in 83, so 20 years after this, he got. He died 20 years after he got. Sam is more lived in, and it looks like he actually. He was stuck with the little kids' room. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Ah, oh, they were twins. So Sam had a twin brother, Calvin, and Calvin died when he was 11. And that he never talked about him. Calvin's under. I guess I got a two cup. Oh. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Hold on. This is freaky how they put their death dates, like, in this sort of shrine to them. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he was. So Barbara died while they were alive. In fact, Barbara died one year before Calvin died. 
I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. This is actually giving me a little bit of vertigo here. Jesus. A sudden he burst of energy. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Alright, I'm going to take a break from this because it is 4 a.m. I shouldn't even be playing this right now, am I? But this is a very excellent game, and I have to recommend it because I am very interested in discovering the mystery of what's what happens to the finches and is edith like a ghost or some shit like that because it appears that her mother dawn is dead she actually died in uh, 2016 so one year before this takes place so interesting so it appears that edith is the final finch and we'll just have to see but i will probably uh, stream this tomorrow so uh this doesn't appear to be a tremendously long game. Yeah, we'll see. Bye. Yep. Quit the game.